In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding values of trigonometric functions from a point on the unit circle. In this example, we're asked to find sine, tangent, and secant for the angle that intersects the unit circle with an x value of 24 25ths and a y value of negative 7 25ths. And I'll start with our three base trigonometric functions, cosine, sine, and tangent. The cosine is just our x value. So in this example, it would be 24 25 Sine is our y value. So in this example, a negative 7 25 And tangent is defined as being our sine over cosine. And since sine is y and cosine is x, it would be y over x. And since I have a y value and an x value, I can put the y value negative 7 25ths in the numerator and the x value 24 25ths in the denominator. Dividing fractions would be the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of that denominator. And we can see that with the canceling, our tangent value is negative 7 24ths. From here, continuing, to our other trigonometric functions, secant is 1 over cosine. And since cosine is x, that's 1 over x, or the reciprocal of x. And since our x value is that 24 25ths, the reciprocal would be 25 24 just inverting that fraction. Cosecant is similar, but it is 1 over the sine. So 1 over y is the reciprocal of y. So the reciprocal of negative 7 25ths is negative 25 sevenths. And then our last trigonometric function is cotangent, which is cosine over sine, or 1 over the tangent. This would also be the same as x over y. But since we know it's the reciprocal of the tangent and we've already identified the tangent, the reciprocal would just be negative 24 sevenths. So the sine of theta here is our negative 7 25ths. The tangent is our negative 7 24ths. And then we were asked for secant, which is our 25 24ths. We found all six, but we were only asked in this example for these three.